I've been sat here listening to this gorgeous music for some time now. It is just so stunning and it makes me so excited to play. Hey guys and welcome to Outer Wilds. I have had this game recommended to me quite a few times and it's time to sit down and find out exactly what it's all about. I adore Annapurna games, they're one of my very favourite publishers so I already know we're in for a treat with this one. I'm super excited, cannot wait to see what's in store so let's go. Wake up. That's a planet and it's moving quickly. Well, hello, that must be my bedroll. <laughs> looks comfy. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. We are, we're an alien, we're an alien creature. And I assume that we look just like you. Where's your marshmallow on your stick? He doesn't have a marshmallow. <laughs> But, I mean, oh, roast marshmallow. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh oh, I think it's... Where's my marshmallow? <laughs> Can I eat it? I, w I want to eat my marshmallow. There we go. Eat, eat. <laughs> nice. Hey buddy, there's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars I see. Goodness me, he's an interesting fellow. So it's launch day, hey? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Uh oh. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. You're sure you fix the retro rockets? We're just gonna doubt him straight away. <laughs> that was only a problem one time and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever permanent like final goodbyes are you not filling me with much confidence mate okay so we need to grab some launch codes can i talk to him more hey nice not having second thoughts are you um well i kind of am but don't tell anyone how's the ship looking great hey you might get a kick out of this i've repurposed the spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Uh, what does that do? Because I genuinely don't know. Well, it's all very conceptual, but basically, it's like taking a regular second stage booster and strapping a bigger rocket onto it. Isn't that great? Yeah, sure, as long as it's safe. How safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect 10. Unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case it's about a four. No offense. So he doesn't have much faith that I can do this. Well, to be honest, I don't either. What's my mission once I'm in space? Hey, you're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow or just the other side of Timber Hearth. It's all the same to me get out there and have fun just don't hurt the ship that's all I ask does it have feelings <laughs> I saw her like a shadow go across oh is that um wait uh, whoa I'm in the fire <laughs> oh, geez. Um, slate I, I just want to check out our beautiful environment like this thing is going so fast it's zooming one more thing to ask him what else should I do before liftoff if you have any goodbyes to say, better see him now. I think your friend Hal is in the observatory waiting to see you off. Oh, and Gosan says that they have the zero-g chamber set up if you want a refresher on making ship repairs in space. Not saying you have to, but uh, it'd help get Gosan off my back if you did. I'm probably going to need it, I'll be completely honest with you, because I'm just not sure. I don't even think I'm qualified, really. 
So what is, oh, we need the launch codes. Okay, so we need to see Hal at the observatory. Can we get up there? Can I jump? No, not quite. I don't have a double jump or anything. Oh, what's that? Is... Oh! Can I point that at, like... That's cool. I like that. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so that is definitely a planet. How do I pull that thing out again? There it is. I got a lot to learn. I'm going to see if I can point it at, at, at Slate's face. I'm so annoying. I'm so annoying. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, let's go. See you soon. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, hello. And he, the name is Mika. Or, or Mika. I'm not totally sure fly model ship he's gonna give me a tutorial isn't he hey it's you slate said you're blasting off in your ship today i'm really excited to see the launch aren't you gonna go in space aren't you you better not have changed your mind i want to practice with the pro before i leave let's butter him up good oh you're just saying that but if you really want to practice with me i guess i could help you out a little Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Okay, so I use that thing now. Let's try this out then. Horizontal thrust, down up thrust. Where am I? Hey. Oh, oh geez. Hello? <laughs> I can't see anything. Where's my ship? Let's reset that. We'll try again. That's better. Um, whoa. Where's one of the geyser pools? Is that it? Oh my goodness gracious. Is that it? Did I do it? Oh, look at that. Can I land on that thing? <laughs> That's cool. Look, I think I, I think I did it. Is he going to praise me? Wow. That was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll... Uh, you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Uh, no, no promises, mate. So this is the model ship of our rocket. I think I'm in trouble, to be honest with you. I just want to give that one more little try. Oh, no. I've fallen and I can't get up. I really cannot. Let's reset that. Like, th this thing goes like crazy. That's so cool. Look at me go. Uh, we are very far away. <laughs> nice. Well, I've broken your ship, sorry. Never mind. Nice to meet you, buddy. Alrighty. Oh, that's where I just was. The geysers. Launch tower. And you might be Poffy. It's so cute. Hey yo, Hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosan open up the bottle of the good stuff. Oh, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. I want to know what star we are thinking of. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Oh, he's so cute. Any new dirt? What are you up to? I want to know what he's doing. He's obviously cooking something. I've just finished sealing up another batch of sap wine for aging. I like to begin aging a batch on the day of a significant occasion, you know. So the significant occasion is us launching our rocket. That's why there are so many bottles labeled structural collapse and house fire. That's not sad at all, is it? Oh, I like him. He's so cute. 
So which way should we go? That's someone's little home. Very nice. And a bucket of fish, which should probably be refrigerated, I would say. Observatory, that's where I need to go to get my launch codes. But you know me, I'm not ready. Nice. Or maybe the G is silent. Maybe it's just nice. Nice. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travellers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabbro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Okay, so I wonder if we can find Feldspar somewhere. Anyway, you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travellers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay, so we have buddies up, up there in the outer wilds. Trouble is, every time a Herthian leaves for outer space, that's one less musician in our orchestra. I don't need to ask anything else, so it's nice to meet you, buddy. Everyone seems so lovely, don't they? You know what? I want to get on that geyser. <laughs> Just for funs. Mal. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> the launch pad is flammable. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Mal, I like you, buddy. <laughs> He's cool. Oh, postcards from Orbit? What's this? Is this like a... Oh, this is like a little museum. R Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Great. <laughs> oh, Marl is plotting to cut down that big tree again. I don't want to daub on Marl, but I'm curious. <laughs> oh, I suppose it's my duty as mayor to stop them again. <laughs> When Marl fell out of that tree and broke their arm, I suspect they might have also hit their head on the way down. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Are you going to watch the launch? Of course. I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless. Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? Only constantly. You learn to live with it. You also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed just in case. <laughs> Great. Like, I'm getting funny vibes from all these people. <laughs> they just don't seem to have much faith in our space program, do they? So I am just curious about this little museum. Like, what is this? Oh, this projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that? Is that our village? I'm not sure I recognize some of those places. I didn't take a very good postcard picture, I'm sorry. So this is just like little collectibles, I think. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Nice. I like that. This pilot seat used by a pioneering astronaut Feldspar who's missing is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. 
<laughs> Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Herthian history. All right. I'm determined to find Feldspar. I really want to. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to do before I go up to the observatory. I want to see if I can get up to that geyser. I think I actually can. Oh. Oh, damn. I think I drowned. <laughs> oh no. I thought it was going to shoot me up. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't make any progress anyway, so I guess that's fine. Actually, you know what? I've got to do it again. I'm curious. I'm curious about what's down in that geyser. I'm sorry, but I have to go. I don't have to talk to all these guys again, do I? No, I think he just says the same thing. So <laughs> let's just go. I didn't even progress in the game at all. I completely, completely <laughs> ruined it. But because I am who I am, I've got to give this another try. I've got to give this another try. I mean, nobody's warned me against going in these things. They haven't said, hey, probably don't do that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to wait for the geyser thing to come up. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, my curiosity has been sated. I am fine. I can now move on like I'm meant to do and go into the observatory. I promise. All right, <laughs> attempt number three. But the other attempts were absolutely my fault. Absolutely my fault. I understand. <laughs> so let's make our way to the observatory this time without dying. However, I'm still so curious about what's inside that geyser because before I died, I could see there was like a little campfire and oh no, you know what? Th this is why this is why sometimes games like this is not good for me because now I I, I won't be satisfied unless I go down and have a look again at that like what is that oh I'm so curious about what's in there I'm pretty sure that I saw a fire or a campfire I promise I won't do that again <laughs> attempt number four and I am staying away from the geezers, geysers, sorry, I think I, I think I say the wrong thing all the time. I'm not the best at pronunciation and then not the best at remembering <laughs> what the correct p pronunciation is, but I am going to the observatory. I am ignoring that tempting hole. It will not tempt me. I'm leaving. I'm going here observatory yes oh oh hello galena and tefra hello astronaut what's with the radio we wanted to play hide and seek but morianne won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that hey hey can we use your signal scope? Can we, can we please? We'll even let you be it. All right, let's do it. Here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. All right, this is a good tutorial. And I love 
when you close your eyes, you can see like there's two layers of eyes. It's so cute. Equip the signal scope. Oh, this thing. Ooh. Well, there's something there, isn't there? Is that one of them? How do I say I found you? I found you. How do I say that? Do I just drop down? That's you, Tefra. Found you. Oh, you found me? But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget you have to find both of us, okay? Alright. Hang on, wait. How do I get up? Oh, I don't want to die again. Oh. Okay, there's something in this. Wait. Oh, there! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> I won! I'm happy! Thanks for playing with us! Oh, it's so cute! Aww! Okay, well that was actually a good little tutorial. What's over here? <sighs> this game, I swear, I am just wanting to look at everything and go everywhere. Especially the geyser. <laughs> I promise, never again. Uh, nice, I've seen you. Oh, we have to go back up to the observatory. Alrighty, let's go. I'll get there one of these days. <laughs> so that's where I went. And you are Spinel. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Ooh, why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess, too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. I underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye, no. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Ooh. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast? Is that all true? Heard it from Gabbro himself. Gabbro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably. Anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go see Giant's Deep for yourself. Okay. Giant's Deep. Oh, Gabbro. I don't know which one that is otherwise I would be interested in asking him about that story look I'm I'm curious <laughs> I'm going to find Gabbro and say hey mate tell me about your story I swear I've talked to a Gabbro somewhere but I cannot find them I'll keep an eye out for them because I, I want to double check that their story is true and I'm really curious about going to Giant's Deep myself and finding out for myself. So we'll keep that in mind. But we are heading towards the observatory, finally. <laughs> oh wow, like this is so cool. I love it. It's so quiet too, actually. Ah, oh, we've got some more people. Zero-G Cave Observatory. 
Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher, Gossam. Yes, I definitely need that, trust me. Before I head over there, I just wanna have a little sneaky peek down there. Okay, that's a waterfall. Nice. Oh, it's a camera? Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfells. Oh, I'm curious about going in that ghost matter. I'm never going to get anywhere, am I? That's cool. You can sort of see it. Like, I, I just I want to jump over the fence. No, should I? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's another geyser to go up. Oh, my gosh. Actually, look, they wouldn't put that there if it wasn't for something. See? No, I'm going to die. Oh, no. They wouldn't put that there because it's like a steps. It's steps. And there's another geyser, which is tempting. So tempting. I don't think I'm ever going to get anywhere in this game. I'm just going to die every single time. This is bad. This is a really bad start. I can only apologize, but my intense curiosity is going to be the death of me quite literally over and over so i am still extremely curious about that little ghost matter area but i'm going to hold off on that for now in case there's like some sort of protective suit that i can get or some jetpacks and that will allow me to go in there more safely and this little kid is just flinging rocks. Arcos. Hello? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossan said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. Uh, you shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. Oh, uh, obviously, that's what makes it so awesome. Jeez, I'm not dumb enough to touch it. Well, thanks. I was. <laughs> oh, you're such a grown-up. <laughs> oh, what's up there? I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech tight. Scout launcher. Oh, wait, what is that? Does that fling me somewhere? I don't want to do that. <laughs> East, Nome Ruins. Quantum Grove Crater. Geyser Mountains. Oh, more geysers, honestly. <gasps> wait, could if that does fling me, I could use it to fling me past the ghost matter and onto that geyser so I can die yet again. Young Bark Crater. What is this thing? Hang on, they said I could use it. Oh, I can. What? What is this? Oh, I don't think it does fling me. Uh. Oh! Wow, look at that. There is smoke coming from there. Right. That is so cool. I mean, look at that. Oh, I like this a lot. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm very curious if I can have something like this when we go exploring so I can see what's ahead. Oh, this is cool. Can I go to any of these places? 
Oh, that place looks very desolate. There's not much there. I'm, just, I'm thinking I should just wait. Yeah, look, there's some ruins there with those uh, symbols. Hang on. I can fling that and then it lands and then I can rotate the little scout. Rotate camera. Oh, very cool. Oh, I like. I like, I like. Cool. There's so many gadgets to play with, isn't there? Nice. I really like that one. That one is really interesting. Oh. Now that's just too tempting. You want to climb up there? I think I will. More rain. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. Okay. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is. Since different planets are in the sky at different times. Yes, I've noticed that. Signal scopes are cool. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> this Is that someone on that? Oh, I wish I could see. Right, so that is a person. That's one of our musicians on that planet. That is really cool. What's that place? Like, that looks really interesting. It's got some... I don't even know what that is. Is that like a broken down rocket? That star is very bright. Is that something that's going to come closer? Like, that's the brightest star in the sky. I don't quite know what that thing is, but it's so interesting. All right. That's a good place to look at all the different... <laughs> it's that guy again. This is a good um, vantage point to look at everything. Why, why? Why Why? am I doing this? Why do I want to climb up this pole? There's no reason for it. I'm just going to fall to my death. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to fall to my death and make a fool out of myself again. There's definitely no reason to be up there, is there? No, there's something there. There's something there. There's something there. You know it. <laughs> it. It is actually kind of tricky to control these jumps. Oh, no. I could only apologize because I think I'm gone again. Well, I guess I'll just die again. I swear, this might just be the most amount of deaths in a first episode ever. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just want to look at everything. I want to check out everything. I want to do everything. I'm back here because how can I not be? How can I not go up here? I'm just going to do it properly this time, you know, like really carefully. Can I look at where I'm walking, perhaps? Oh, jeez, this is insanely dangerous. I've made it. I've made it. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. That's really disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's head, finally, to somewhere else the zero g cave <laughs> let's fail at this <gasps> gosan he was the guy that went to uh was it deep giants deep hey i thought i might see you before the big launch nerves getting the better of you <laughs> i'm a little nervous yeah good everyone should be a bit nervous going into space I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. 
Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Oh, I love everyone. They're just like, they have so much faith in me. Bye. Oh, this thing goes so quickly. Oh, yikes. Whoa. There's like little lights twinkling down in this cave. Is that like glow worms? Oh, it's so beautiful. I have a flashlight. Oh, this is beautiful here i like it i like it okay let's try and repair this satellite oh suit up wait can i use this thing when i am out and about i have fuel in it my fuel is going down quite quickly actually oh hello tough <laughs> Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. So you're going in there, in the cave? Hmm. Oh, what? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Ugh, now I've got hand sweats. Well, why do you hate the cave? Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on fire watch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. <laughs> Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you asked me. Okay, so we actually saw that, um, that, that smoke plume where Tech Titan went to. I wonder if we can actually head there ourselves. Whew. Okie dokie. So, we need to head down here then. Maybe if I just go down gently. Oh, that's the satellite. Oh, why is it red? That's kind of creepy looking. Press to lock on. Ah. Hold to match velocity. Oh, okay. Velocity matched. Zero of three repaired. Is that the thing I need to repair? How do I repair it? Do I have to get closer, I think? Oh, yeah. There we go. Alrighty. So that's that one done. There's another broken one. Hold to match the velocity and get a little bit closer. A little bit closer and repair. Okay, you know, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Whoa. Whew. I think with my <laughs> natural curiosity and whoa, whoa, whoa amazing ability to control this thing i think i'm gonna be just fine where's the next broken thing hang on it's in the center okay so it's in the center there we go so let's go in there if i match the velocity on that so that sort of slows me down nicely and then that holds me into place too Lovely. Let's get closer and you can actually do it without matching the velocity too. Well, okay, so uh, how do I get out of this place? I think I'm upside down. <laughs> I don't quite know where I am. 
Okay, so that that was cool. I feel really confident. Wow. I feel kind of confident in my ability to do, to do that, I think. And this is where I came from because I recognize it. Get up, get up, get up. I think I've done quite well. So how do I get out of here? Where's my way out? Oh, I'm lost. Oh, can I keep this suit or do I have to give it back? I feel really good that I managed to repair that uh, test satellite. So that was cool. I'm going to show off now. I've done it. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've, um, I've got killed many a time. But that was my own doing. Finally, we are going to the observatory. Oh man, it's taken me so long to get here, but there is just so much to do and so much to look at. And I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. I'm just enjoying myself. I really am. It's awesome. We have finally, finally made it to the observatory. Absolutely incredible that I've managed to get here. Hang on, who's that? Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. <gasps> this is the guy that gives me the launch codes, isn't it? Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tools inaugural flight too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Oh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Uh new statue well i'm here for the launch codes but um let's just say that yes we are <laughs> i knew you'd want to see it before you headed off hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today amazing isn't it makes me wish we could see what a real life no my looks like but i guess this is as close as we'll ever get check it out looks like they had fur fur is weird this is the first fully intact statue ever found you know and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Oh, so he mustn't give me the launch codes. Someone else does. So that's a Nomai? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Okay, so I'm guessing that we may even see a Nomai out and about on our travels. Okay, we have some notes there. I'm gonna read this one first. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornfels, Gossan, Slate, and Feldspar. Feldspar, you're coming home, buddy. That's my goal. Outer Wilds Ventures Timber Hertz first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Herthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atal Rock. 
cool. So he is very famous. Oh, so this this is another little museum thing? That's bright. What's that? This piece of Nome writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nome text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh! Oh! We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibration, calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, wow! Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. I love how that expanded. I can't do anything with that one. Anything around the back? No. What's up here? View the map. Whoa! Oh, wow! Okay, so now I can see a couple of planets that I've heard about. Brittle Hollow and Timber Hearth, that's where we are. Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, the Interloper, the Hourglass Twins. That's really cool. Oh, and this is Hornfelds. This is the guy that gives me the launch codes, right? There you are. I just finished our pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Oh my gosh, I want to do all those things. I definitely want to meet up with the other travelers too, but I want to do everything. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. Last I checked. And, well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or even if they're alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Eska stationed on the Adelrock. That's our moon. They're not a traveller so much as a lunar local, but I'm, sure they're, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nonetheless. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. Honestly, most likely considering how this first episode is gone. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Awesome. So I have the launch codes now. Does he say anything else? Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gossan, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossan did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. I am going to find Feldspar. I will, I will, I will. I promise. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? 
Oh, that's so interesting. I like that. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not, they're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. Uh, I think I need to sit down. <laughs> That is really fascinating. So everything is moving away from us. I'm curious if we ever get an answer to that. Whoa. Oh, this is cool in here. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. So that thing just moves around. I can't really do anything with it. Does that... That doesn't do anything. Huh. And then it's moved again. If you turn away from it, 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 it moves. Oh, that is so weird, hey? Cool. Well, guess what? <laughs> we have finally... Oh! Okay, I don't think that was meant to happen. What? What was that? Where's that guy that was here? What just happened? It's like, it's like the Nomai took my memories or something? I don't know what that was. But how is that? That, that can't be because that's a statue. It must have something to do with the, maybe the jewelry. Oh, here. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, <laughs> no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Ah, good luck and safe flying. Can we use that translator tool now then? How do I bring it up? Don't know how to bring that up. But I assume that if there was something to translate on that statue, it... Damn, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Is that the sun? It's huge. What's that little thing behind? Oh, it's someone. <laughs> Looks like he's flying into the sun. Okay, let's go to the launch pad. I'm excited. I hope I don't ruin this like that sun is like is that the sun it's massive <laughs> I'm kind of worried oh 
Tefra. Hello astronaut, are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Um, don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfels will be really sad if you don't come back, like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. That's so cool. All right, well look, I'm gonna try not to get lost in space. I promise, buddy. I'm gonna try. Well, I have got the launch codes. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> nice. So this one doesn't have any, like, autopilot. All right. Cool. Well, this is it. The big day. Whoa. Oh, this is so cool. All right, I think we're ready. Oh my gosh. Suit up. Health and fuel is full. Open the hatch. That gets me downstairs. View the ship log. And... Oh, that's the pilot seat. Oh, I like that. That noise. Okay, so ship log. So we're on Timber Hearth. Rumor mode. Oh! Gabro. Oh, is this all the things that I've picked up and talked about then? Yeah, Hal says Gabro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue. That's true. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. Okay. Hang on, wait. I'm still looking. Map mode. So that's us. Interloper, Dark Bramble, Giant Steep. Some of them are... Like, you, you can see that that planet is there, but the other ones don't have things on it. So view entries. So this is where we are and everything that we have learnt and seen is, is here. That's really cool. Back to map. Can I go to the sun? Like, I'm curious about what's, I wanna select the sun, but it's not working. The, oh, that's our moon, the Adel Rock. Luna Ruins, Esker's Camp. Esker is still stationed on the, on the Adel Rock. Yep. You know, that might not be a bad place to go to first. You know, it's kind of small and it could be a good place to go. How do I do this? Buckle up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How do I... What... How do I tell the ship where I want to go to? What? Okay. Oh, there. Oh. Right. Engage autopilot. How do I, how do I, how do I land? Landing mode. This is really cool. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Have I landed? <laughs> Unbuckle. So I've actually made it somewhere. What? Look what I did. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. And here. Oh, wait. What was this guy's name on Adel Rock? Oh, no. I forget his name. He's just chilling here by himself. 
Oxygen tank refilled. Oh, look at this guy. What's his name again? Eska. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travellers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary <laughs> space flight. Don't go. Oh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Oh, he's lonely. Seems lonely up here, buddy. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Gossan mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <laughs> you spy on us? <laughs> what? No, it's not spying. It's... It's a one-way communication that none of the villagers know about because I've never told them. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Aww. Was that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travellers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Uh, what is this place? Ha, huh, very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out of Wilds, travellers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space firing technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. All right. Unidentified signal nearby. So that's something that I can find. Whoa, okay. Unknown. So that means, oh, geez. Oh, hang on, that's some. Um... That's music, that's a harmonica. That's someone, that's someone then. Cool. That's, hang on, that's our planet, I recognize it. So where's the harmonica person? Unidentified signal nearby. Whoa, damn! Is that the sun? It looks so different here. Whoa. Ah, oh, the harmonica is there, right? Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but that to me looks like like if that's the sun then this planet would be so hot it just looks like it's burning up <laughs> alrighty so let's go towards the north where did he say towards the north so let's take a look the north pole Okay, looking on the mini-map on the left, I can see that that's pro probably the location. Like, that, that, that just worries me, <laughs> staring right into the sun like that, honestly. Oh, no. There we go. Eska's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chert play for a while today. 
unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossan that flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Oh, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. That's our planet. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. I knew I heard a harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Nice. <gasps> no, I heard it too. That's a harmonica. Can we pinpoint that then? I didn't hear that when we were actually on our planet though. It looks like it's coming from that location there where the smoke is. That's where it's coming from. That is where it's coming from. I'm sorry, but that to me, that is just terrifying. <laughs> I think I'm safer here on Adam Rock, to be honest. Yep, Feldspar, Feldspar's on our planet. He is, he just is. So where is he then? I don't... I can hear a banjo as well. Oh, what's that? Oh, look, I think our planet has got so many secrets. Oh, I cannot talk to him about Feldspar. Oh, I'm so curious. So curious. I, I'll refill jetpack. Nice. Whoa, whoa, careful. Okay, well, I've had a little bit of a look around. I feel really good. We've done a few things. Eska's camp, Luna Lookout, harmonica signal. Yes, I'm so curious. Harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Yep. So where is he? Where is he? Like, what is this? I'm so curious. Okay, my only, my only question about flying this thing right now is that view map okay damn that is just huge like how do i oh lock on so is that how i get to somewhere then i don't want to die again after i've done all this but why do i want to go to the sun why do I want to do this? <laughs> no, 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 no. A signal scope. There's drums. I can't land on that sun though. Like there's just no way. There's going to be no way. Like, why, why am I doing this? No, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I've died too many times today, honestly. I want to go back to my home and I don't really know how to get there. Oh, I'm there? Like, I just can't, cannot believe how quick everything goes. Okay, curious about this too. 
Let's um, put it in autopilot. Does it know that I want to land? Like th this planet is huge. This one is huge. Firing retro rockets. I'm just going to trust the process. Put it in autopilot. Landing mode. Does it do it by itself? Oh look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh damn. If I can't figure out how to land. Eee. Oh no. I think I landed. I landed in the ocean. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no. That's not good. Ah, that's not that's not too bad. What's that? Scout launcher photo mode. Oh, I can do the scout launcher. That's cool. Like look at this. And you can see what's ahead. Oh, I love it. And the signal scope as well. 7,000 meters away. Like, is that on a different planet? Someone's whistling. Is that, um, that's the guy on Adel Rock, isn't it? Whew. Hey, like this is definitely sort of man-made. Someone's made this. Who has made this? Okay, look, got to be completely honest. I don't really know. Oh, that doesn't seem safe. That, that seems scary. I don't exactly know my purpose and what I'm meant to be doing. I feel that I want to go back home. <laughs> I just want to go back home. Hang on, wait. That thing that goes up in the middle looks like that. I just want to check out something. Can I stand in the middle of this and... I thought it might lift me up somewhere. Okay, that's fine. Look, I think I'm just going to go back home and figure out what to do next because I don't really want to advance things like too much. Where am I? So that's Timber Hearth. That's where we want to go. That's home. That's home. So let's go lift off. And that's home. Okay. All right. So if we engage autopilot, where am I? <laughs> Whoa. Damn, look at that sun. Like, that. honestly, that's scary. I don't know why it's so massive and so big. But we are, we're going to go home because I feel that I've done a pretty good job so far. I think I've done pretty well. That's our moon, Adel Rock, and we're going to head home. Engage autopilot. So this, this is our little home here. So actually, you know what? I'm going to disengage autopilot because interestingly, hang on, where am I going? What? What's that?
did I do something wrong? It's going, it's going through my memories again. What was that big blue thing? Well, I think I had an accident. <laughs> but I wanted to get back home anyway. So that's cool. And now I can leave the episode here and then kind of think about where we want to go next. I know that I want to explore every planet. My goals are to explore every planet. I want to go and find everyone, all of our crew. I want to rescue or find Feldspar and yeah, I just want to do everything. So I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this, how long this game is or what um, the end goal is, but I think maybe if we try and stick to maybe one or two planets an episode I don't know yet I'm just playing it by ear this is my first time playing so I don't really know the best way to do things yet but I think that's a really good spot to end it so that is uh that's our mate slate oh did did I just die <laughs> oh What? Whoa, bad dream or something. You still look half asleep. That's a negative on being deceased. Okay. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. What else should I do before lift off? What's my mission once I'm in space? Yes, I want to know. Okay, so it's just exploration. Okay, okay. But that is really interesting. That's very interesting because we asked Slate if we just died. Okay, so maybe something happened. I don't really, I don't really get it <laughs> just yet. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that here. I've got to say that I really enjoyed it. I really, really had a great time exploring and talking to everyone and I feel so accomplished that we managed to get the launch codes and fly in our rocket. I landed at two planets, um, Atle Rock the Moon and Giant's Deep I think I went to. That was really cool so I'm, I'm loving it. I think it's beautiful and mysterious and interesting and I really want to know where everyone is and what's happening and what that big blue thing was. I don't know if that was the sun. I don't know if that was the sun. I'm curious about that sun, but that's something for the next episode. We will find out a little bit more about what's going on in the next episode. I hope also exploring more of Timber Hearth because I know that Feldspar is on this planet, on our planet, somewhere, and we just have to find him. Follow the harmonica, I think. All right, guys, going to leave this one here. I really hope you enjoyed. I had a fantastic time. Cannot wait to play again. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips and tricks without spoilers, please do let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.